Hi, I'm Christine, and this is my sidekick, Chase the Dog. We travel the U.S. living out of my SUV, searching for adventure, food, and fun. In this video, we explore St. Augustine, Florida by walking sacred grounds, having charcuterie by a 300-year-old fort, sampling local spirits, wandering historic downtown, viewing the lighthouse at sunrise, strolling on a super cool bridge, and witnessing an amazing light display. If you'd like to be our travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Greetings from sunny Florida. We are in the city of St. Augustine, which is a historic beach town off the Atlantic Ocean. I have several fun-filled days planned for us here to explore this unique city, so let's go. Our first stop today is Mission Nombre de Dios, which is a Catholic mission founded in 1565. It is likely the oldest existing mission in the continental United States. I'm very impressed with this place so far. It has an amazing energy. I'm not religious by any means, but there's a definite reverent feel <laughs> as you walk these grounds. So I'm walking on what's called the Sacred Acre, which is just a really beautiful garden that has a paved path and a lot of stops that you can view interesting things with a lot of different religious structures and statues. There's a lot of benches you can sit and reflect. And the feeling here is just so peaceful. I had a little bit of anxiety about making this video today, but that's all gone because I just feel so calm by being on these grounds. I'm thankful this was my first stop. <laughs> Behind me is the National Shrine of Our Lady of La Leche. It is the oldest shrine in the United States. It was originally built in 1609. The original shrine was destroyed in 1728 by British invaders. It was rebuilt in 1875, but later suffered damage from a hurricane. The current ivy-covered chapel, which seats about 30 people, was built in 1914 and is a replica of the original chapels. The Great Cross behind me was dedicated in 1966 to celebrate the 400th anniversary of the Mission Nombre de Dios. It is made of stainless steel and towers 208 feet above the Matanzas River Marsh. About a mile south of the mission is the National Monument Castillo de San Marcos. The Castillo de San Marcos is the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. Construction began in 1672 when Florida was part of the Spanish Empire. The fort's construction was ordered after a raid by the English in 1668 that destroyed most of St. Augustine and the existing wooden fort. Spain ceded Florida to the United States in 1821 and it became a U.S. Army base. Then the fort was declared a national monument in 1924. Dogs are not permitted in the fort, but if you left your furry friends at home, then you can tour the inside of the fort for a fee. I packed a little picnic so we could have a charcuterie board in the sunset. I think that was an amazing first day. Chase and I are gonna finish watching the sunset, then call it a night. So we'll see you in the morning. Charcuterie board's all gone. Good 
Good morning. Chase and I are outside of San Sebastian Winery, which is Florida's second largest winery. They offer complimentary tours that are dog friendly, so Chase and I are headed in now. So this is the Pinot Grigio. This is number five on the wine menu. Mmm, it's chilled. It's nice. Uh, this is our Chardonnay. This is an un-oak Chardonnay, so it's just aged in stainless steel. And it's just, just can taste the grape. Nice smooth finish to this, but no oakiness, no vanilla. Just nice and crisp. And think of that one with the seafood poultry. Some nice pork loin, some soft white cheeses. This is the Cabernet. This is number four on the wine menu. What I call our house cab, this is 13% alcohol. There's the rose and there's number six on your list. It's an easy drinking, mild wine. Okay, let me saw down below the bottling line. Okay, that's the bottling line? Yep. It's quiet today, no one's working? Yeah, not today. Okay. <laughs> no, we, we haven't used that with one little guy in a while. Oh. Right, so the wines I've got for you at this station is cream sherry. This is number 11 on the menu you got in your hand. Mm -hmm. When you try it, make sure you break it down into two or three little sips. I say that it's going to change flavor on your second sip. I see why you say take a couple little sips. <laughs> um, this is the cream sherry, yeah, correct? It has brandy added. The whole oh. idea behind that. Brandy was added to the wine to preserve that. So that's what it's a lot to see. Mm. So it protects the wine. Um, port's a, a nice wine to just sit and sip, and relax. It's a rich, fruity, berry flavor. It also has brandy, so it's strong as well. Our second stop today is St. Augustine Distillery. This distillery is located inside of an old ice plant from the early 1900s. They also offer complimentary dog-friendly tours, which Chase and I are super excited about. So come on in with us and check it out. This facility was built in 1907, originally as an ice plant because they needed the ice for the local fishing industry and the local produce industry so that they could ship it around the country. The facility was in operation during the mid-50s when overland refrigeration took over and the facility closed and was vacant until we took it over in the mid-2000s and converted it into a distillery. During the World Wars, ice was such a critical industry in this area that the folks working here were exempted from the draft. Yes, our vodka here is made from sugar cane. It's 80 proof sugar cane vodka, not potatoes or wheat or anything. And we're gonna make a drink called a Florida Mule. And we're gonna mix our vodka with our Mule mix, which is pure ginger juice, lime juice, cinnamon, sugar cane, and a little dash of cayenne pepper in there. So here you are. Cheers. Thank you so much. We're gonna do two samples, starting off with our gin and tonic. The tonic mix is lime juice, sugar cane, cinnamon, and cinchona bark. This is the bitters. It's also a quinine is made from. And then our gin is made of those 12 botanicals back there. We take all the botanicals, put them into basically a giant tea bag, 
where they steep for about four and a half hours inside the still. And then as the alcohol comes out, it's called gin. But then what into the still is vodka. So you can think of gin as being the first flavored vodka. This one is the rum tiki. So the tiki is pineapple, coconut, almond, vanilla, nutmeg, lime, ginger. That's all in the mix here. The rum we make from molasses. Age that for nine months in a, in a used bourbon barrel. So it gets that nice golden color from the barrel, otherwise it would be clear, and you're gonna get some butterscotch notes. The distillery is even kind enough to give out dog treats. Alcohol free, of course. We're gonna do a nice bourbon old fashioned. So this is gonna be done with our Florida straight bourbon. And we're doing a four to one ratio on that for you. Guys, enjoy, let me know what y'all think. Thank you. You can't tell from my face, but it was actually really good. It was just really strong. Uh, I think I should drive. You've had a couple drinks. Okay, well, you're blind, so that's not really safe either. How about we just walk around downtown for a while? Sounds good, let's go. St. Augustine is the oldest continuously occupied European established city in the United States. The city was founded in 1565 by Spanish explorers. That's about 457 years ago, which is amazing considering the United States is only 246 years old. This place is rich with history and beauty. I wasn't planning on getting anything to eat, but when we walked by a reconstructed house built to look like it was made in 1740 with a gourmet popsicle stand inside, my feet just started walking in there on their own. The daddle peppers, um, they say they only grow in this region. Um, it's kind of like a myth. I do think they grow other places. I think they just grow best in this region. Think of it as like a sweet, creamy cheesecake, a bit of like a spicy aftertaste. It is sunny and beautiful here on St. George Street, but it is hot. It is 75 degrees today, so I had to get myself a cold treat. That is super interesting. It tastes like a pepper jack cheese cheesecake. It has all the sweetness of a cheesecake, as you would expect, but with like a cheesy pepper jack savory flavor as well. It's really interesting. Yeah, my mouth doesn't know what to think. It keeps going. <clears throat> Pepper got back in my throat. Yeah, my mouth doesn't know what to think. It keeps going back and forth between a sweet cheese flavor and a savory cheese flavor, but it's really good. <laughs> Do you want some? Yes. Like that? We continued our tour of downtown by seeing the Plaza de la Constitucion, the Cathedral of St. Augustine, the Governor's House, the Leitner Museum, Flagler College, The Villa Zareda, the Memorial Presbyterian Church, and Magnolia Avenue. Chase and I are going to watch the sunset and then call it a night. Our goal is to get up super early tomorrow so we can watch the sunrise over the St. Augustine Lighthouse. See you in the morning. not expecting it to be a working lighthouse but there's actually a light in there spinning around it is so beautiful good morning everyone we're starting to see the beginning colors of sunrise and the moon in the top right corner there it's already gorgeous
on, baby. Come on, it's time to adventure. Come on, let's go. Time to adventure. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we are up close at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. This is the beautiful lighthouse we were viewing from the sunrise this morning. There is a $15 entrance fee to get into the park, which they do allow dogs, but they don't allow the dogs in any of the buildings. So we're gonna skip that today and just kind of walk the grounds. Even from the outside, there are several beautiful photo opportunities. And being this close to a piece of history is amazing. This lighthouse was built in the 1870s. Let's finish walking around and seeing what else we can capture. This is the lighthouse keeper's house. I didn't feel like cooking or going anywhere fancy, so I grabbed a sandwich and some fruit from the local grocery store and found a local sculpture garden to enjoy it in. Directly behind me is the Bridge of Lions. This bridge gets its name from the four white marble lion statues that guard the bridge. This beautiful work of art was built in 1927 to connect downtown St. Augustine with Anastasia Island. In the center is a large drawbridge that opens several times per day. Chase and I are headed to take a stroll on the bridge now. It's super windy up here and the bridge shakes a little bit, so it's kind of scary, but it's mostly really awesome. Yay, it's happening. The drawbridge is opening. It's about five o'clock now, so Chase and I are gonna walk around downtown until it gets dark. Our next and last activity is the Night of Lights. We're excited to see millions of tiny white lights create a magical atmosphere in the nation's oldest city. Fun fact, this is the oldest street in the nation. Night of Lights has been listed among National Geographic's top 10 holiday light displays in the world. During this festival of lights, downtown St. Augustine glows with holiday magic. Well, that wraps up our time in St. Augustine. This city has vastly exceeded my expectations. I would love to spend more time here, but it is time to move on. 
Thank you so much for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.